last week I played with papers and wax and I've made quite a bit of waxed papers. These are some and I have a lot more. But I had a question from Kathleen Maurer who is a um, very talented junk journal lady and uh, I really admire her style and her knowledge of design and everything. And her question was, well, what do you do with it? <laughs> After you get it waxed, what, what do you do with it? Can you make envelopes or what, what can you do? So I started looking into it to see what, what I can make from some of these things. And I've come up with a list of 11 things and there are some others that I had on another list, but we'll just do 11 for today. Let's just start with a journal page. And this page, I did um, the wax on this with a cube of wax. It was on the corrugated cardboard and I was dragging it across the hot paper and it made these stripes because of the corrugated paper. And also I had put other wax on there and that's where the spots come from. I don't know if, I don't think you can write on this paper with just a normal like ballpoint pen or something but I just wrote on another page that had less wax on it with this Micron 05 pen. And I have, I have a test sheet over here that I, I uh, tried out different glues and things. And I tried out writing with some different things. What I wrote here is, well, was with a Pilot G2 gel pen. And this pen is the Micron 05. And I'm, I'm thinking it probably will write on here as well. Let's see, let's just say a uh, happy day or something. It is still wet. It probably is gonna take a little bit of time for that to dry. I'll check it back later and see if it smears. This has been on there for a few days and it quit smearing after the first few hours. So this writing I did with one of these pens. They are um, Azure alcohol ink markers and I used the pointy part and just wrote on the paper there. And the thing about this that I thought was interesting is it didn't bleed through to the other side of the page. There's a little bit of shadow there, but it's not like when you write on just a piece of paper. Here's a pad I've been writing on. Let's just see. Just scribble. See how it goes through the other side and even bleeds through on this. This is thin paper, so. But anyway, I was, I was impressed that it did not bleed through on the waxed paper. This is a page that could be put in a journal. And you can, this is a belly band. You could put a belly band on it, on the page. You could add tucks, flips, um, glue a page to write on, a writing space onto the page. Um, however, you might handle a normal page other than actually writing on the page unless you use a pen like the, the Micron pen or even one of these alcohol markers. So anyway, that is a page and a belly band. I, this one I just made, um, this paper is waxed and I just tore it to size and put a strip of lace on it. And cluster is another thing that is on the list. This one is back to a piece of waxed paper there and I stapled everything on there, and then I put the tissue paper with the rows on it over that. And then I decided I kinda wanted this ticket stuck in there too, so I just have slipped it in there and I'll glue it down later with something. I didn't glue this to the belly band yet because I thought I might need it for some other piece of ephemera that we have here. So anyway, so that is a, a journal page and a belly band and a cluster. Then we have pockets. We love our pockets. This is just an index card, this blue color, and I put wax. I, actually, I had stenciled on it with um, Distress Oxide ink, and then I waxed it over that. Not not a whole lot of wax on there, and I w didn't know how that was going to do, but it seems to have done pretty well on there. So, you could just um, round the corners, top corners, and um, let's get our page back here. You could glue it to a page at the bottom. You could make it a tuck on the side and it would be pretty to put a cluster on it as well. You know, top, bottom, where you felt like putting it. So that is pockets. And you know, there's all kinds of pockets you could make with, with waxed paper, waxed cards. 
and I did this, as I said, this is my test page. I was testing out glues and things. The ones that worked were um, hot glue and Fabri-Tac. They both stuck. The others like washi tape just peels off. These, this is paper tape. It peels off pretty easily, but it does seem to stay stuck down unless you try to peel it off. So, and this is the fabric tape. It's the same way. Glue stick didn't stay stuck. This one, this one was glue stick again, and it did kind of stay stuck. Well, no, it didn't. Look at that, it's peeling off. So, Fabri-Tac hot glue, and I haven't tested out E6000, but it surely would work. So, and you may have other glues that are, oh, the other one that worked was this, uh, Craft Bond Quick Dry Glue, and I just spread it on there, and it, it did stay stuck. It was this one right here, and it's still, it's not peeling up except right there in the corner. So that's three choices that I know of that will work. So another thing I thought about was a tag. And since Kathleen asked the question, I'm kind of channeling her with her wonderful ideas. This tag, I'm gonna decorate with these little things in a minute. But what I did is I took um, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and cut a strip and cut, fold it in half cut the tag shape on it, and then I cut from an eight by eight square of um, scrapbook paper, like this one, like this one, except I wax. It's not wax. This one is not wax because I wanted the back surface to be, to be able to write on it. This one I did wax. And then I stitched around, I, I glued it just at the top and the bottom to hold it in place, and then I stitched around the edge with um, some gold thread on the top. This paper I also splattered with gold paint. I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope you can. Um, I think it is pretty on there, with, especially with the gold stitching. But the, that seems to have stuck well to the wax paper, so that's another thing that you can do. And I've got this little bow that I'm gonna attach here. I thought we'd do a little crafting while we're at it make this equidistance here, more or less. And I think my hot glue will be hot by now. This glue gun has a small point tip on it, which is very handy for gluing things that you don't want to get too much hot glue on it. So put that right there over that staple. Now I didn't put anything over the staple on the inside, so I may put a sticker over that later. And also, my um, stapler wasn't long enough to staple that, so what I did is I put this on a book page and just opened the stapler up. I didn't use this stapler, but this, it's the same principle. Well, it is if you can do it. <laughs> there we go. I just opened it up like that. I had it on a book like this, and I just put it, put it there where I wanted it. I actually, I was stapling from this side. I put it on the lace where I wanted it and then just pressed it down and it stuck through to the through the book and I pulled it up and just folded down the ends of the staple. And you probably already knew how to do that. I'm gonna put this cheesecloth here behind the, the bird and the, the label that I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use the, um, the hot glue to do this because I know it will stay stuck with that. smoking thing to stick it down. And then I have this little label. Now I could I could just use um, Fabri-Tac or whatever I wanted to on this now that I have it stuck down because it's gluing to the cheesecloth. Let's take some of that off, make it a little bit ragged. So I think I'll do that just because, just because. Sorry, I forget what I'm doing. Get out of frame. Okay. And I'm just gonna put that on here. These are labels that I made by using a stencil and drawing around it and then just put stamped words on there, script, um, script and stamped a two on there. I was making a bunch of labels at one point. So 
you know what, this has a shiny back on it. This was one I messed up. It's a rub-on sticker, but I messed it up, so I left it on the on the backing, or put it on the backing. But I'm gonna use the hot glue on that because that shiny stuff probably isn't gonna stick with Fabri-Tac. If I can do this without burning my fingers. Come back to his tail in a second here. Gotta have something to hold on to. Okay. I'll just put a little bit under his tail. If I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. All right, that's got that done. So that's our tag and it flips open and um, I will find a sticker to put over that and show in, in the picture or some ribbon or something, I don't know. And I may put some stamping here on the, the corners and that's the back of it. So that's our tag, double tag. Oh, oh, and this one, let me use this page as an example of a, of a journal page. This one, it, since it opens up, you can just slide it over the top of the page and have it there. I need something over that staple because it's catching up on that. So that is the tag. Envelopes. That was another thing that Kathleen asked about. Can you make envelopes? Does it fold? And the answer is yes, it does fold. This is one I made. This was another 8x8 eight eight sheet of scrapbook paper and I just found the center and then brought these two corners into the center and then brought this up, cut this off cut these corners off where it folded there in those corners and um, this way and I'm going to glue it down. I'm going to glue the, the flaps together here and if you have a scoreboard I'm sure it would make this much easier to do because um, you can measure what you're doing instead of just folding randomly. I use my my grid on my mat here, but it still was a little bit crooked, it seemed like, but. And that didn't stick too well right there, so I need some more glue in there. I guess it got cold before I got it stuck. Didn't that time. <laughs> So that is a an envelope. I don't know if I made this the right size to fit a, um, a journaling card from a, a four by six index card or not. No, it'd have to be had to be cut down just a little bit, but um, it could easily be done. So you have a uh, card to put in there. And then on the front, I thought it'd be cute to put a label. This is um, also waxed paper that I cut. I used my label to dye and cut the label. Again, you'd have to use one of the alcohol or Demicron pen. Some other kind of pen to write on it, not a ballpoint pen. Well, I'm gonna glue this down and I think it would be cute to have some, have something behind it. So I'm gonna use this cheesecloth. Can't think of it today. Yeah, that works. May, may turn it just slightly crooked. I'm going to just put a little bit of this in the middle here for this. And press it down with my... This is really handy to, to do this with because the, the glue doesn't stick to it. Sometimes you get some on there, but it doesn't stick, so saves your fingers from getting burned. And then I'm gonna put this, the glue on this. I may not stick that down. I may change my mind about that. So I'm just gonna leave it sitting on top. Anyway, that was envelope one, number one. This is a different envelope I made. 
I made this one from a um, dictionary page. I was testing it if acrylic paint would work over the wax. And I used this one. It's Folk Art Metallic. And it's rose gold or rose color. And um, I just used a brush and kind of, I was splattering on the page I used for the tag. And then I had paint left over, so I just kind of spread it around on this page. And on the inside, it's not, I'm going to put some Fabri-Tac under that where I folded it down to be a little stronger. I hope it will stick. We will see. When you're making a, an envelope like this, what you want to do is position it where it's upside down so that when you fold up the front and the and the flap down, it's right. the type is right side up, if that matters to you. You may not care one way or the other if it's right side up or not. It doesn't really matter once you put other decorations on it. So, anyway, I'm going to put this. This is a, just a piece, a couple of pieces of paper I glued together to make it stiffer, and I inked it with... Um, Finished photo is what I used. I wanted to put something on the flap to make it more stable. It's pretty flimsy paper, even with the wax on it. So I'm going to put this on with Fabri-Tac. I'm gonna have so much glue on my fingers when I get done with this. I didn't number the list, so I can't tell you what number we're up to. I have to count it again. Okay, I'm just going to put that down at the edge there. And then I want to put this lace over the top. This is just some lace I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put it on here and let it hang over the edge a little bit. Oops. <laughs> My scissors obviously have glue on them. Okay. I'm going to put this glue on here. I'm just gonna go across this and put the lace back down on it. And it's pretty good. Okay. And put this on the right way. Okay, then for the, the closure on this, I decided I wanted this label on the front. It's just a, a label I cut with dye, my Big Shot machine, and it came off a greeting card or an invitation, I think it was. It had some French script on it. I have no idea what that means. It's not all, I've marked where I wanted the holes for that to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and just poke a little hole there. I don't need it to be very big. I'm just gonna use these small brads. That I have over here, these brads, and I think they are big enough to work in that. Yeah, they will do fine there. Okay, Let's see, there we go, and the other one. I think over that, I'm gonna put a strip of tape. And I think I'll just use this paper tape. It's stuck pretty well to that. And it's thinner. If I can find the end of it, there it is. I just don't want those brads catching on everything that goes in and out of the pocket. So. It may catch on the tape instead. <laughs> Okay, so we have 
that. And then for a closure, I, would, I thought I would use one of these. I'm, I cut these with a die. This is a Sizzix die that I got at Hobby Lobby and it was 90% off. I paid $3 for it and I thought, you know, maybe Christmas doesn't come around very often, but it's got this circle here and it's got these square, these um, rectangles and things, various things in here. And I have used the door. I have used the door once anyway, just separately. So I use this die to cut these pieces from, from a piece of uh, scrapbooking paper. I need a longer one, so we'll see about this one. I'm going to put it on with a the brad there. So, hopefully, I kind of put that to the side too far, didn't I? I guess I should just make it a feature and not a bug. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to do my book again. This is a book I bought for the cover. Let's see where I need to put that. I kind of want it up high enough that it's into that paper. So it needs to be up at least there, I think. Okay, I don't know how far that went. Let's see if I can do this. I'm also gonna glue this on. Hopefully get it back in the right spot. Okay. And here is my punched hole. There it is. Thankfully, I could feel it on the back. Okay. All right. And then we am going to turn this to go sideways. And then on the on the um, on the sides to make it an envelope, I could either glue it. I could I could stitch on the sewing machine. I may do that to go with this gold look. I have a little bit of gold thread over there, or you could just staple it, or punch some holes and and or do hand sewing. So go over the edge and hand sew it or something. So have some options there. I'm gonna think about it for, and let's see what I come up with, what I think would work the best. Okay, so there's envelope number two. And let's see, what do we have next? A little sack with a window. Now these little sacks are some that I bought at Dollar General. And the other day, this was before I started doing the waxing, I, I wondered about cutting a hole and making a, a window in it. So I used one of my dies and cut the hole. And then I thought, you know, this waxed paper is a lot like vellum. So I decided to put the, the waxed paper in there to make the window. And you can see the design. It has to be a pretty strong design. That's the main reason I chose this paper to put in there on the, the tag was to make it show through there. So that is another, another thing is to use it as vellum to make windows or things in pockets. And it needs a little more decoration on it. I think I have a butterfly here somewhere. One of these little butterflies. Or I could put a flower on there. Or I could do both. I have this tissue paper that has these roses on it. And it might be cute to use one of those roses glued on there and then put the butterfly on. So I think I'll do that. I can glue to that um, bag because it's not waxed. So I can just use glue stick on this so I don't get too close and tear it. like to have it. I'm going to tear that off a little closer if I can. Don't want to 
percentage of that paper sticking out. I'm just going to use my Craft Bond Extra Strength glue stick on this. And use my thumb on the paper. So I'll have more glue on my thumb. Things will start sticking to me. <laughs> I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to kind of get an idea of where I want it placed. I think I'm going to put it, it may not stick to that vellum, I don't know, but I may do this anyway, just to see. This edge will stick, and maybe that one will too. We'll see. Not vellum, faux vellum, it's, um, it's really just... Waxed paper. Get you stick on there. Blue blob. The messy crafter at work. Okay. Hopefully that is good enough. And then, um, let's see which one of these little butterflies. I've used all of them on the back side. These are also from Hobby Lobby. Stickability. two-sided, so you get get a fair number of, of um, butterflies, and I always get it when it's on sale. I probably got it when it was half price. I think that little butterfly is cute, but where do I put him? Maybe I'll just put him up there on the edge of the, the hat pin. I'm going to forget where I was going to put him by the time I get this off. Uh, here we go. Okay, Mr. Butterfly. I think I'm just going to put him like there. Like that. Hope that I don't like that. It's a little too much over that, but anyway. It is what it is. Okay, that was the little sack with a window. This is, this is a piece of that algebra trigonometry paper that um, I waxed also. I've been thinking about this idea for a paper bag, paper sack. So I decided to go ahead and, and use this paper and make a bag that has a tuck spot on the front of it. And I really, I kind of want it to just go all the way back there. So I'm just going to put the glue at the front edge of this. Um, I'll just put it on this. If it doesn't go all the way back, that's okay, too. I hope I didn't go too far. Maybe it won't matter too much on the bottom page. Let's see if that's stuck. spot on the side that we could put a card in. Two cards. So that's that's my idea. And then you also have the opening at the top that you can put other things in there. And I just need to glue this down. So I'm going to, this cord could be a little bit longer. I'm going to glue this. this I cut this little flap and then I cut the other flap to go over the top of it. So. And just put the glue on all of it. And up the edge. And I guess I need some in there too. Okay. We'll see how this goes. Okay. stuck all the way or not. That's a case where I might put a piece of ribbon over there or something like that. Just to cover it up. We'll see. Put a little more glue there. And then you could put something on the front, a sticker or something on that to decorate it. Or a cluster. What did I do with the cluster? You could put the cluster on it, decorate it up, put some lace on it or whatever. Anyway, that's a little 
little bag to put something in, a card or something in. I, this may not be a good idea. I don't know. I've never done this before, so we'll have to see if that is a good idea or not. It may be too fragile, especially with this paper. I probably should put something there to strengthen that edge, maybe some lace or something on that. We'll do that later. This is um, another one of those dictionary pages that I just took what was left of the gold paint and just spread it over the over this page and it did stick to it so it's um, it's on there. But I thought this could be used as a small page to kind of add to the journal as a layering page. Another one another idea I got from Kathleen. Thank you Kathleen. And so that is that decorated up with something that could have a cluster on it too or something different so that's a page another page then these two I finished this one is a flip up flip down piece that has little scrappy pages inside to write on since this is not really going to be a writing surface so I put the pages inside and it could be glued down you know as we typically do it could be glued down on three sides, two sides, and make a tuck spot behind it, or on three sides and make it a pocket, or um, clip it in with a with a paper clip. So that is that. And then this one is another of Kathleen's great ideas. It's an over the page. Let me get the page back. It's an over the page double pocket. It's got a pocket on each side, and they are side loading pockets. And I, what I did is I just folded the page together and stitched it at the top, at the bottom. And then I added the lace and that's a sticker and added just a sheet of music page in there, a piece of music page and a tag I made that had been looking for a home. I think it may have found it there. And then on the other side, and you probably would wanna clip this in to hold it in place. I just put um, in this shorter pocket, I made it shorter to make the other one long, longer. I wanted one of them to be long. And this is another sticker from that same um, set of stickers, Victorian, I think it's stickabilities too. And this is a card from a set of scripture cards that my friend gave me, um, Psalms. It says, he alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress, I shall not be greatly shaken. To give it a little pizzazz. So that is the over the pocket, over the page flip pocket. And this one, since I used the paper, it's kind of double there. In Kathleen's original tutorial, she had cut the paper and added it separately, which you could do that as well. You could just, and use some other kind of paper, some scrapbook paper or something to, to add a pocket on each side. And is that the end? Well, this one little lone ticket, I decided to see how it looked waxed and I kind of like the way that turned out. So that is that. So that is 11 ideas of ways to use the waxed paper and to um, have some fun with it. There are other ideas. I, there are either, even some that I had that I didn't um, follow through on, but I thought this was probably more than enough for one day. <laughs> so that's the envelope there and the belly band. Belly band goes there and the tag. So I think this tag may be one of my favorite things. I, I like the way the gold looks on there. So anyway, that is what to do with the wax papers that you had so much fun making. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and want to, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that so much. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.